Hey everyone, this is Martin from How to Make Mobile Games. This is November the 10th, 2014, and it's a Monday, so start of a new week. And this video, I'm going to go through one of our projects, uh, Playcade, which I've talked a little bit about on the forum, howtomakemobilegames.com. And um, this is the, the first time that I've looked at the project. So what I'm going to do is just go through and do a quick check of uh, artwork, uh, UI positioning, and some general optimization. I'm doing this video on the fly now. I've not uh, checked this before. I've not like planned this out or anything. So this is just me doing some work and hopefully I'll get some tips or ideas on how to do this. Um, the reason is, is because uh, there's a couple of problems with the game on, uh, on the iPod uh, in terms of frame rate, but there's also some um, uh, UI positioning issues on the iPad, so some of the UI is going off screen. So I'm going to try and fix those now. Uh, this video is also just some general feedback for our developer as well, so um, uh, it's a good way to sort of uh, show how to do this rather than writing like a big long email. This is much easier. So I'm in the logo, um, the logo screen here right now. So I'm just deciding what's the the first thing to do. I think um, the best thing is really just to jump into the. Let me if I can see if I can find it. The the menu scene because I've already I've already seen some problems with that one. I did take a quick look at the project before, so. I don't know my way around the project yet, you see, so I'm I'm kind of trying to figure out where things are at the moment. Uh, maybe that's the one, the menu, is it? Okay, yeah, so this is the main menu screen. Uh, those of you who have played uh, Playcade before on Google or iOS, there is a version out now which is uh, which can be downloaded. Uh, you know this is the main menu screen where you can select things. Um, Big point, guys. Like always, check your drop down here. Now, I, this is an iPhone build right now. I'm going to focus on the iPhone build in this video. Um, I'm going to take a note of the time as well because I'll have to probably break this video into different parts. So it's half four now. Uh, but always use this drop down, guys. You can see here. Look, it, it's clipping off the edge of the screen there, and also this uh, mute music button as well. It's clipping off. Uh, if you go to the iPad iPhone 5 wide, there's no problem. If you go to the iPhone 4 wide, which is the smallest screen size, it's almost clipping and that's almost clipping as well. So the thinnest one, if it's on landscape, uh, is that right? Yeah, landscape, is going to be, I think, I've iPad wide 4.3. So it's halfway on the L. Uh, I'm just checking. Uh, iPhone, iPad, 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 where are you? iPad wide. Yeah, so I, iPad 1024 by 768. Or iPad 4 by 3. This is probably because it's a, it's um, this 4.3 probably also includes the higher resolution iPads. Um, yeah, because there's only two iPads here, and the newer iPads have a higher resolution, so uh, it can just go to iPad wide. So obviously that's a big problem. iPhone would uh, not allow your game if that was a if this was a universal game built for iPhone and iPad. Uh, if this was clipped off, they might just say no. Uh, so the easiest thing is just to move that in at the moment. And I like to work in 3D, so I'm just going to click on this 3D here because uh, I like to see the tools, and I'm just going to move it over a little bit. And in fact, I might... I wonder if I should get, uh, rearrange this a little bit. Uh, Maybe yeah, maybe no. Yeah, I might do that. What I usually do is I usually have the project up here. This is just um, a personal preference. And then what I usually have is the scene down there and then the game scene up here. So there you go. It maintains the same aspect ratio if you make it bigger or smaller. And then you can see the game at the same time as you're moving objects around. So that's that should be fine up there. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller actually. Click on it, click F, it's already zoomed in. Uh, you see the problem is here that the, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second, the texture size. Uh, just clicking on F, I'm going to move this over as well. <coughs> so we need to change these buttons. Uh, the, the style is, is, is not consistent at the moment, but that's okay, that's not a big problem. We can change that later. Uh, the, 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 the next part, so that should be fine. 
you see on an iPhone 5 wide, yeah, that's fine. An iPhone 4 wide, always test this, guys. You've always got to double check the size because you'll save yourself a lot of time. Uh, I am going to build onto the iPod, blah, blah, blah. Uh, sorry, iPad 1 over here as well in a moment. Uh, the other thing that I noticed in this menu scene is if you click on here, uh, click on the Playcade texture, which is that, that uh, uh, sprite, uh, this title here. On the right side, if you click on the sprite here and then go down, you can see this massive space there uh, in the texture. Uh, I'm going to double click on it and open it in Photoshop. And I already opened that before, but you can see, look, there's a massive space there. That's that's. I think that's a big waste because the, I think what happens is the CPU is trying to render it uh, and it's rendering all of that empty space as well. So we want to cut that off for sure. We want to uh, we definitely want to move that. So, um, I'm just going to move this up. Oh, no, no, no. Let me just move this up a little bit. And uh, like I say, we, we need to fix the, the styling on this, uh, cause it's not consistent at the moment, but that's okay. It's not a big problem. Um, we'll try and get this to be power of two if we can. I'm just going to click on C, and that'll allow me to crop this uh, easily. Enter. Let me just check the image size at the moment, guys. Um, okay, okay. So uh, in Unity, I think what it what happens is is if you do a uh, a power of two sprite or a power power of two texture, uh, you'll see it in listed in Unity as POT. Power of two basically means that the width or the height of the texture or the sprite is are always uh, powers of two. So you can have a width and a height, which is 1-1 one, one, or 2-2, two, two. 32, 32, 128, 128, and so on. But you can mix those up. You can have 512, 128, 512, 64. You can have 20, 48, and 32 if you wanted. Always make sure that those numbers are used, the, the power of two, because it optimizes inside of Unity better and it displays faster on the screen. And it also means that you can apply the uh, the formats, these things here, so that it's uh, it's compressed. I think that's right. Tell me if I'm wrong, guys. Uh, but I'm gonna try and make this um, five one two is fine, of course. And uh, what did we say? Six, uh, Thirty-two six four one twenty-eight is the closest one, isn't it? So I think it might be okay. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we might want to just stretch it out a little bit, maybe, just so we're using the texture space. You see, because what we can do is we, we can just shrink this down inside of Unity. We can just make this smaller. So it, it doesn't matter so much if we stretch it on here, so long as it doesn't become like pixelated and, and we're using as much of the texture space as possible. Um, I try not to make the edges of the texture too close to the edge of the, the canvas, the edge of the image because you get texture bleeding, I think it's called. And that's where, uh, like for example on this one here, you can see that the, the edge of this word is black. That means that the, 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 how can I say, like the edge of the canvas here, sometimes in Unity you'll see like a very thick, like a, a, a thin black line, uh, almost like the edge has been smudged. So, and the way to fix that sometimes is just to make the, the image inside of the canvas a little bit smaller and keep it away from the edges. Um, so I'm just going to save that now. Uh, there you go. It just went from one megabyte, okay, down to 256. Uh, it's using power of two as well. It moved on the screen, as you can see here, but that's totally fine. We can just now, if I select it, there it is title. Just move that up there. And um, I'll just shrink it down a little bit. Okay, that's fine. And we'll just see if we can optimize it a touch as well. Uh, it's rendering on the screen as 256 kilobytes. Um, it's now reduced in size a lot, which is great. That was, in fact, guys, what was happening before, get this. It was said, it said one megabyte before. I didn't, I didn't point that out, but it was one megabyte. That means that when this menu screen starts, it's loading a one megabyte texture into memory when that scene starts. And that's big for a texture, which is just a 
you know, uh, a title, uh, a title text on the screen. Now that's fine if you want to, um, you know, depending on what you want. But for here, I mean, we've, it's just a small title which players already know the name of the game. Um, it doesn't need to be huge, so we're going to optimize, and it looks like. Dropping from one megabyte to 256, we've already achieved a good optimization on that. Uh, I'm going to click on override for iPhone. Right now it says true color. We don't want to use true color. No, 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 we do not. Uh, what I want to do, this is what I usually do. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to go to uh, advanced. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make sure that generate mip maps is off. That's I always keep off uh, generate mip maps off in 2D games. Mip maps is when they're very far away, it will show a lower quality texture so that you're not rendering high quality textures that are very far in the distance. In our 2D game here, it doesn't matter, so uh, the generate mip maps are off. Uh, the texture size 1024, we do not need that at all. It can probably be 256, and it can probably be a 16 bit with alpha. Uh, this says 256 now, let's see if this changes and it's down to 32, there you go. But it looks like it's a little bit fuzzy here and that's gonna appear a little bit fuzzy on the, uh, probably on the iPhone and the iPad. So let's increase it to 512, 32, it's gone to 128. And I think that might be okay. Uh, let's see if it's any different with the RGBA PVRTC four bits. Click apply. Yeah, it's still 256, and that's still, uh, you see. Oh, so actually 16-bit is producing a lower uh, a lower size file, and that might be because it's a power of 2. So that might look better, but what we need to do is we need to see it on the device. We need to test on the iPad and the iPhone. Um, right now, the old version on there looks good, but that, guys, is a 1 megabyte texture sprite, which is massive. So always optimize this way, okay? and you really reduce the file size and also the efficiency of the game as well. So we're going to see how that looks in a minute. So uh, let me think of the next thing that I have to do. Uh, but, 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 there was actually something else. Uh, sorry guys, like I said, I'm kind of thinking through this at the moment. Uh, trying to think of the next step. So, what I might have to do is uh, pause the video for a moment and then do another one and uh, so that I'm not just umming and ahhing. So uh, since it's been 10 minutes anyway. So yeah, I'll pause this one guys and uh, yeah, check out part two and I'll link it and all this stuff in the video. Uh, also on howtomakemobilegames.com. I'll, I'll post it there where I answer all questions and comments. So uh, yeah, so come back for part two guys. I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, bye-bye.